Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Piathlon. In today's video, we'll be discussing whether or not you should learn VBA in 2021. So the way this video is to be organized, we'll talk about first the reasons why you shouldn't learn VBA, and then we'll talk about some of the reasons why you should learn VBA, and then we'll talk about who is VBA for, and I'll actually show you a, a quick application I built in VBA that I'll teach you how to build also. So let's dive right into the reasons why you should not learn VBA in 2021. And the first reason is VBA has been losing popularity. If you look at this interest over time graphs in Google Trends, you'll see that searches for the term VBA have decreased significantly over the past five years and there's a steady downward trend. So VBA hasn't been gaining popularity at all. It's been losing a significant amount of popularity. You can contrast this to languages like Python and R that are also statistical programming languages that have been maintaining their popularity throughout the past several years. The next reason why you shouldn't learn VBA is for a lot of workloads, there are better options, namely Python and R. Python and R are more powerful programming languages. They can process and analyze more data. If you're dealing with terabytes of data, Excel won't be helpful for you. You would need to use something like Amazon or Python. Another advantage of Python and R is they have much better integration, especially when it comes to distributed computing tools. VBA is only for use within Microsoft, application, Microsoft Office applications, which we'll talk more about in the next slide. But this is a very large drawback for VBA when there are options like Python and R, which have much more integration. If you want to use Hadoop or MapReduce or an Elastic MapReduce or something in AWS like SageMaker, then VBA would not be helpful at all. You would have to use Python or R. And Python and R are both open source, which makes them much more expansive. VBA is entirely controlled by Microsoft, and whatever they decide to do with it, that's what's going to happen to VBA. When you're dealing with something open source like Python or R, everybody can contribute to the language, and so you end up with much more libraries and a much more powerful programming language. And it's free. You don't have to deal with any licensing that you might have to deal with if you're trying to work in Microsoft Excel or Word or any other Office application. The next reason why you shouldn't learn VBA it's because it's limited to Microsoft Office applications. So commonly, uh, VBA is most often used with Excel, but it can also be used with PowerPoint, Outlook, Access, Word, or any other Microsoft Office application. And this is very limiting. If you wanted to do something outside of Microsoft, VBA would not be the tool you wanted to use. So this will conclude our section on why you shouldn't learn VBA. So what are some reasons why you should learn VBA? The first one I want to talk about is VBA is easy to learn. Because it's not as expansive as Python or R, there's not as much to learn. And VBA was designed with the beginner in mind. It has drag and drop interface controls, which makes designing graphical user interfaces extremely easy, easier than it would be in something like Python or R. It's a very approachable language because it was designed for non-technical audiences, which we'll get more into later. And a lot of people are already familiar with Microsoft Excel. So the transition from being an Excel user to a VBA user, it should be much more intuitive and approachable for the everyday Excel user. Another reason why you should learn Excel, why you should learn VBA is because it allows you to automate common tasks in Excel. So let's say you have to format reports. Well, that could be something that's really boring for you to do, especially if you have to, if you have to do it over and over. But if you write some code in VBA, then that can make formatting those reports a lot easier for you. If you're doing inner application tasks, let's say you're switching back and forth between Outlook and Word, then VBA might be able to help you transfer data between these Microsoft Oculus applications. Another reason why you can automate tasks in Excel is let's say you're doing data entry, and data entry is error prone and is boring. You can create a graphical user interface that makes data entry much more precise and you can also make it faster. And with VBA you can facilitate user interaction in a way that's not common to Excel. And once again this goes back to creating those graphical user interfaces that make using Excel much easier for your end user. They don't have to have the Excel knowledge that you do. They can just interact with this graphical user interface and use the application for its intended purpose much faster and with less effort. Another reason why you might want to learn VBA is just to become an Excel master. When you learn VBA, you'll be able to essentially do whatever you want in Excel. You'll be able to create your own functions, your own types, and you won't be limited by Excel's built-in functionality. 
So if you commonly find yourself trying to do things in Excel that Excel doesn't have native functionality to do, well, learning VBA might be a good option for you. So now let's transition into why would VBA be worth learning for you. So if you spend most of your time operating in Excel, you're not often using other tools. You're, you're just an Excel junkie, and that's what you spend most of your time doing. Or you're not a highly technical person. You're just trying to beef up your, your spreadsheet skills. Or you're not targeting a data science or other very technical job. Then VBA might be worth learning if any or all of these apply to you. If you're trying to become a software engineer or a data scientist, then you should stay far away from VBA because those jobs are not looking for people that know VBA. But if you're an accountant or something else, then you might benefit from VBA. If you're working in the consulting field, the accounting field, or in finance, if you're something like a budget analyst, then learning VBA might actually be worth it for you. But if you're targeting a more technical job, like software engineer, data scientist, quantitative analyst, then VBA would not be worth it. So let's end this slideshow and I'm going to actually show you an application in VBA. So let's say you wanted to get a quick sales report and see how much was your revenue in each region. Well, you can click this button and then just type in the name of the region that you want your report for. So if you were to type in East, this application would give you the revenue for the East region. And that's what VBA lets you do. You don't have to know anything about Excel or VBA to get this quick report. All you have to do is click a button and then type in something. And that's the power of VBA. It makes it much easier for your end user to be able to operate, even if they're not technical. So that concludes this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. In fact, I'm going to go back to this slide and pull this up. So yes, like, comment, and subscribe to Piathlon. We also have an Instagram and a Twitter, so go check us out at Piathlon on those accounts. And we'll continually be posting videos about VBA, Python, Amazon Web Services. We have some AWS videos coming and Tableau. So if you like this comment, please like. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Visit us on Piathlon.com and follow us on social media. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.